Okay, so welcome back. So now for the other two uh, strategies for dealing with uh, powers and pow uh, products and powers of secant and tangent. So strategy three is if k is odd. So if the uh, power of the tangent uh, function is odd, where k is at least three and j is zero, so there's no secant function here. So it's just a power of tangent where the power is um, an odd power of at least three. Then what you're going to do is you're going to rewrite the tangent as tangent k to the minus two times tangent squared x. So you're going to shave off a tangent squared x. And then you're going to use the identity that tangent squared x is equal to secant squared x minus one. And then what you're going to do is then distribute the tangent and you're going to get this. So now you get this piece minus this piece, and then what happens is you can do a u substitution here, and then you'll have to deal with this one. Now, the thing is, is depending on the power of what's left over here with the tangent, you may have to repeat this process on this term, okay? As many times as necessary to get it to the point where you can just go ahead and integrate the whole thing. So that's strategy three. Now, the last strategy, strategy four, is what if k is even and j is odd? What if you have an even power here and you have an odd power here? Then what we're going to do is you're going to use the identity again, tangent squared x equals secant squared x minus 1, to express tangent x in terms of secant. So then what you're going to do is leave this one alone and rewrite this in terms of secant. And then what you're going to do is you're going to end up using integration by parts on the odd powers of the secant uh, functions. Okay, so those are the four strategies when dealing with products and powers of secant and tangent functions. So let's do some examples now.